So let me start and talk to you about Neuromation, the project I have invested in and I'm chairing as we speak. And uh, as you, see, you can see, we have pretty nifty little slogan that nobody appreciates. So we are a place for Android's dream of electric ship. ship. Yeah. If you are familiar with Philip K. Dick uh, novel, which was inspiration for the Blade Runner, this is us. So let me tell you why. Android's dream of electric ship. So uh, there is the thing that people call AI, artificial intelligence, but not a lot of people know there's just a set of algorithms and method methodologies that are behind AI. One of the larger and most successful uh, methodologies right now that is used in the industry is called deep learning. And deep learning is an algorithm which basically is a standard neural network, but it has many, many, many layers and millions upon millions of connections. And it requires a lot of data to train, right? So, uh, so much data, in fact, that uh, oftentimes, in order to teach it one example of something, you have to show it thousands and thousands of examples. And therefore, uh, one of the issues is that it's really difficult to find so many examples of that data in the real world. So, for instance, uh, I'm going to talk about a single application, for simplicity's sake, and that application is recognizing bottles on the shelf in the retail. Now, the deep learning algorithm has to see about 5,000 examples of a single bottle in all possible configurations. It should be on the shelf, off the shelf, it should be lying down, it should be from this angle, from that angle, light is striking it in this way, light is striking it in that way. Thousands of examples. And now, in order to train this neural network algorithm, you actually have to go and photograph 1,000 bottles from all the different directions and all possible, possible angles and whatnot. And it quickly becomes intractable. It's very difficult to present a million different well-labeled photographs of that bottle to that artificial intelligence algorithm because it's so darn difficult to do, you know, like a million photos. So there is a bottleneck there. And that bottleneck is solved by something that we call synthetic data. And that synthetic data is nothing more than virtual environment, like a 3D picture of the same bottle. Not real bottle, but a 3D simulation of that bottle. And you can quickly build up a lot of these. And with these simulations, you actually start training the deep learning algorithm to showing them the cartoons. So show computers the cartoons to learn about reality. In the same time, a bit of an aside, right? We have a bit of an issue in uh, uh, blockchain world, specifically, you know, the mining. Like, the mining used to be very profitable a few years ago, but now we know that People who bought this wonderful hardware, beautiful video cards, and installed their mining rigs are having a difficult time even breaking even upon some of that hardware. So there is a synergy between these two problems. Through neuromation, they actually can be solved uh, in, a single, in a single fell swoop. So um, let me quickly jump to the neuromation platform. So what we will do, we will in the neuromation platform connect these two needs in a single marketplace. So as I said, in order for deep learning algorithm to train, it has to have all of these, all of these data examples. And what we are doing, we are generating virtual worlds that are basically creating this data. Now, to create these virtual worlds, you need a lot of capacity because all of this is done by a computer. So let me, for, uh, let me give you, sorry, one second. Let me give you an example of, uh, synthetic data set. So for example, all of these bottles were created in a simulated world. And in order to create a single single photorealistic photograph of this, you need to uh, run your video card for half a second to a second. And uh, what's going to happen next is, in a typical industry, you probably need one billion photos overall, right? So one billion photos translates in a lot of computing capacity that needs to be applied to the industry in order for deep learning and these algorithms to be successful there. So what we are going to do is we are going to actually connect that capacity to the blockchain, to the miners. We are going to create a platform and a marketplace where all of these, all of this, all of this data creation, virtual data creation can happen on mining machines. And then it's, uh, it, 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 it starts being incredible economics. Because currently, the same mining rig that makes about seven to eight dollars uh, dollars a day will probably uh, you'll probably have to pay three or four dollars an hour on Amazon to rent the equivalent capacity. 
So it's almost an order of magnitude difference in the money you earned, right? So on our platform, we are going to take advantage of that disparity for now and have mining rig surface all the business flows that need need uh, th that are needed to enable synthetic data uh, in uh, the information marketplace. So uh, we already have partnered with a few mining pools. We are having the first iteration of our platform out on February 1st, and currently we are training their machines and we are seeing pretty good results. I mean, by pretty good, it's pretty modest, they're, they're great results. So the mining machines turn out to be more, even more efficient and better performing uh, on uh, 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 equivalent capacity comparison basis than, uh, uh, than equivalent Amazon machines. And you can, of course, get them on this, on this huge premium. So what we're going to do with Neuromation Platform is uh, take all of these flows that, uh, uh, that are required to enable synthetic data for AI and put them on uh, the blockchain auction. And there are five business processes that we have. Uh, first one is uh, uh, data gener uh, uh, the, the uh, data generation, uh, uh, pardon, create, creation of data generators, then data generation itself, model training, data labeling, and then actually uh, deployment of the neural networks themselves. And this is all uh, happening on the miners' machines. Now the question is, uh, why should we use, why, why, why do we need blockchain for that? Well, the, re the reason is that we instantaneously need to create a worldwide transactable market. That is, let's say we want to deploy a thousand, thousand GPUs in China for a certain jobs that we have to create a synthetic data set or train the neural network. And uh, in order to bridge the barrier and quickly be able to pay them, transact, and have them work for us in, uh, during neuromation, we can be, you know, sending back and forth the contracts, payments in yuan or in dollars and whatnot. So we need to basically very quickly get a job done by them and deliver them the payment, understand that the job was done well, and do it uh, in an environment where, you know, they trust us, we trust them, and naturally this is how the blockchain comes into play. Because uh, the idea of mining something is very second nature to the miners, and here we propose uh, uh, for them the idea of mining knowledge. Instead of mining cryptocurrencies, we're going to mine knowledge. They're going to install Neuromation node, and then they're going to receive the tasks uh, from Neuromation platform, and these tasks they're going to perform and get remunerated in our uh, neural tokens. So, quickly about our team, um, uh, we are pretty deep uh, in our uh, actual academic uh, academic credentials. One of our uh, advisors and investors is Andrew. Let me outline him. So, Andrew is uh, a guy who wrote part of the TensorFlow at Google. It's one of the major frameworks that everybody uses. He's one of the probably 10 top most quoted academics in computer vision in the world. I just uh, went with him to Venice to Computer Vision Summit a few days ago, and synthetic data is everywhere there. So we are on the right track. Then we have Sergey, who is our chief scientist. He is also one of the premier academics uh, in Russia in deep learning. He just wrote actually a huge Bible of deep learning, which is coming out next month. And then uh, uh, myself, you know, a serial entrepreneur, I sold companies mostly in ad tech space and uh, built technical projects and then our CTO of us whom I worked already for a dozen of years and our uh, CEO who is a, a fantastic businessman. So uh, the team is pretty capable and about our roadmap, we plan to release the first iteration of our platform on uh, February 1st and then build the rest, uh, the rest of the capability throughout 2018. Uh, so uh, we are currently in our pre-sale, which started October 25th and is going to end on November 28th. Already doing pretty good, raised uh, significant, unexpectedly significant amount of money in a couple of days that we are running. And then we are going to uh, run our token sale till January 1st, 2018.